Voici la lettre adressée au Premier ministre australien, Anthony Albanese. Dear Prime Minister, at the end of last year, you quietly, you quite rightfully proclaimed enough is enough in relation to the time Julian Assange has been incarcerated in Britain, facing the threat of a 175-year prison term in the US. Supporters of Mr. Assange around the world applauded you for saying that. So too, Australians, 80% of whom, plus a significant cross-party coalition of your parliamentarians, desire that Mr. Assange be immediately freed. But nine months later, enough is more than enough. As you know, Mr. Assange's legal battles are ongoing and with no end in sight, and his health continues to decline. While as members of organizations that have undertaken many activities over the years supporting Mr. Assange, demanding his freedom, this has clearly not been enough, which is why we are appealing to you, Prime Minister, to do even more to secure Mr. Assange's freedom so he can return to the country of his birth. This exemplary Australian, the world's largest, greatest journalist, must not be prosecuted or persecuted any longer for having revealed war crimes, crimes against humanity, government corruption, and for having practiced journalism. You said yourself in December 2019 that journalism is not a crime. Admonishing, don't persecute, don't prosecute journalists for just doing their job. You must recognize that if an Australian journalist publishing in Europe can be summarily arrested and subsequently judged by an American court, then no journalist anywhere in the world can be safe. As you must know from various documents, the case against Mr. Assange has been wholly legal, illegal right from the beginning, with his meetings with lawyers spied on, their phones and laptops confiscated, his computers with all his legal documents stolen, and most egregious, egregiously threats to kidnap and or assassinate him. Mr. Assange has spent four and a half years incarcerated, including in solitary confinement, under conditions the UN has satisfied as torture. Citizens abroad are meant to be under the protection of their respective countries, which is why we are calling upon you to protect the life of Mr. Assange, which can only happen if he is released from the maximum security prison known as Britain's Guantanamo. For too long in the past, Canberra has done Washington's bidding, as have so many other countries. But this is fast changing throughout the world. You are in a much stronger position now to make decisions that Washington might not favor. We beseech you to use this strength to demand Mr. Assange's immediate release. It is the right thing to do, and it is what the great majority of Australians, a majority of French people, including the signatories of this letter, and hundreds and thousands of people around the world fervently want. We are writing you as participants in a massive action on September the 2, 2nd, Worldwide Australian Embassy Day, called by fellow activists in Australia to demand that there be more visible pressure on the United States to drop its charges against Mr. Assange, as well as its UK extradition request. To this end, activists in Wellington, London, Paris, Berlin, Rome, Chicago, Denver, Dublin, Tulsa, Milan, The Hague, Stockholm, and other cities around the world will be holding sittings demonstrations and rallies in front of Australian embassies, consulates, businesses. We, the signatories of this letter, will be present on September the 3 in front of the Australian Embassy in Paris, along with other supporters. We implore you to tell Washington loudly and clearly, enough is enough. You must drop all existing and any subsequent charges against Julian Assange and allow him to return to his country of birth now. We thank you in advance for your favorable attention to this urgent matter with much respect, Comité de Soutien Assange, the International Federation of Journalists, and the Peace Movement, Mouvement de la Paix. Merci, Victor. En français, maintenant. Donc, 